So, linear systems are just projective subspaces of some complete linear systems associated with some divisor D. So for that we need to review what's the complete linear system and what's the projective space structure associated to it. Right, so a complete linear system associated to a divisor D are just the set of effective divisor linearly equivalent to D. And how do we get a projective structure on it? Well, you see, there's a natural bijection between this complete linear system and this projective space, right? So given any uh, function f in LD, we can associate to it the divisor div f plus d, because by definition of LD, div f plus d must be effective. Conversely, in the other direction, if we have a divisor E that is linearly equivalent to D, then E must be of the form div f plus D for some matter, because E is linearly equivalent to D, and because E is effective, that means f must lie in LD, right? And two such uh, divisors, so f and g will map to the same thing, if, uh, if and only if div of f over g is 0, that means f over g is some meromorphic functions with no poles or 0, but uh, that must means that f over g must be constant because x is compact. So f is uniquely defined up to multiplication by a constant, so it's a well-defined element of the projectivization of Ld. And so this gives us a projective space structure on D sorry, on the complete linear system of D, and any linear system is just a projective subspace of this. So in other words, every linear system must come from some vector, or just some projective subspace of the projectivization of LD, um, which in turn must come from some vector subspace of LD. Right, and so every linear system must be of the form div f plus d for f coming from some vector subspace of Ld. Now coming back, remember, given a map phi from x to the projective space, we have associated to it a linear system of divisors. Actually, we just say this is a collection of divisors. Right, these are the pullbacks of hyperplanes. Now. We want to describe this as linear systems. We claim that these are going to correspond to base point free linear systems. So first, uh, how are these linear systems? For this to be a linear system, they must lie in some uh, complete linear system D, right? So what is the divisor D here? And remember, it should correspond to some vector subspace of LD, right? So which vector subspace is it? If we denote the collection of devices associated to the map phi by this, then it turns out that this collection is a linear system lying inside the complete linear system associated to the divisor D defined by this. So if phi is given by this tuple, then we define the divisor D to be the minus of the GCD of these divisors. What does that mean? That means that at every point P, DP is just going to be minus the minimum of the order of vanishing of fi at p. And we actually have an explicit description of this linear system. This linear system is going to correspond to the following subspace of LT. It's going to correspond to the span of the fi's inside LT. Why is that? Well, we'll explain that in the next video.